This is P and we're back. This is P and we're back with another video, December the 2nd, 2018. Sunday morning, sort of gloomy on the East Coast. Hope you're enjoying your day so far, whether you're chilling, at work, on break, at school, at church, wherever. Um, hope you're having a great day so far and had a good week. Going into this holiday season, um, yeah, comment below what's on your wish list, whether it's electronics or Pearl or um, anything. Just comment below. It's cool. And also like, share, and subscribe my videos. That way I can keep bringing you and your friends and family heat videos. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be actually ordered from Finish Line um, for the Cyber Week after the Black Friday holiday still continuing those sales. And I just happened to go on, I'm actually looking for some Jordans that was supposed to have been restocked. Um, in particularly, the Jordan 1 OG High Pine Green. I really wanted the purple, never got it, never got the pine green, but I did find these steels, which are cool for the collection, cool for gifts, especially for the price and also um, cool if you have like a shop or a store you want to flip. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's check out the box. Like I said, it's two pair in here. It's lightweight. So we're gonna actually hopscotch up. Hopefully you can still get a good visual. Got the little box cutter from my friend Addison, representing North Carolina. Yeah, and this is smooth little curved action. He gave me a bunch of blades as well. So let's go ahead and slice this nice and smooth. And also flip open the lid. And this is gonna be actually the bottom of the boxes, the shoe boxes rather. So like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. This is gonna be my first time seeing these um, colorways in hand. So it may be stash. Um, usually with um, a lot of shoes I'll get them if I don't wear them I put them in the stash post pics on Instagram keep giving you these visuals of course on the unboxing and reviews or sometimes I do sell them so comment below if you're interested these are gonna actually be um, the OG Nike boxes for um, Air Maxes so we're gonna actually start with the Air Max 93 and it retails at $130, which keep in mind, this was a cyber deal for 2018. So basically, um, of course, I hit the free ship and I ordered two pair. Um, I checked out with the swag bucks. Do your research on swag bucks. It's easy. You can earn cash back just simply by shopping at your favorite stores and doing other little games or watching videos or whatnot. Comment below if you've been racking up with the swag bucks. You can get gift cards and also um, redeem through PayPal for cash where you can transfer into your account. All right, so finish line, Nike, Air Max 93, um, size nine and a half. I went true to size. The colorway is going to be white, crimson, and bliss. I'm really trying to remember this colorway when I ordered it, and I hope it's the right one. Um, yeah, you got sort of that... Um, tangerine box with the Nike and the Nike swoosh and white. This is just that OG box from the 90s. It sort of gives you that feel. It may have been a little bit more orange um, back in the day. Information on the bottom. Enough of the box. Let's flip the lid. You're not going to believe the price. Just keep your eyes open. I don't really want to say my price on it just in case I sell them. But um, yeah, it was under 100 bucks by far. And we're getting ready to see what it looks like. And this was released in 2018. So we'll check out that information inside the shoe as well. Oh, snap. I don't think these can sell. I remember when these dropped. These are fire flames. Golly. All right. It's maybe one tiny con, but other than that, I've seen some shoes like these, uh, like at Marshalls, but it was a different colorway. These are fire. Comment below if you have these. You're not going to believe the price I paid for these. 
If these are still on sale, I might have to double up. Springtime action. Um, like I said, <laughs> what was the information on here? White crimson bliss and some type of paupery bliss. All right, let's start from the bottom. Nike, I just saw this. Nike Air on the outsole, give it that 90s feel. Um, you got great traction in black. Um, super lightweight shoe. You have that uh, 180 bubble on the bottom, clear, where you can sort of see like that, what I'm gonna call peach, like a ice peach. Uh, you have the white, crispy white, um, up with this hits of green, and it's sort of like a, it's not a new buck or a leather, but sort of like, um, I don't know what the material is. It's almost like cushiony. And then you have the white upper, you have the swoosh and this ice peach and like a mesh behind it. This is my first time having the 93 model. Dang, this is fire. 93 was like middle school. <laughs> if I had to have these back in the day, even this model period. Um, you have the white flat laces and you go into the black upper, like sock liner, Air Max. Sort of gives you almost like that Air Max feel of one of the Barclays with the strap. Um, comment below if you know what I'm talking about. I got some in the stash, but this is low cut. Um, you have Nike International on the inside, so maybe that's the colorway title. And we're gonna see when these was released. Uh, February the 7th, 2018. Fire flames. Get the toe box to match. The Air Max is good for running, training, style. Um, this is a stock lace and they still look great. I'm glad I went true to size. I'm gonna advertise these for a price, but I don't even know if I really wanna sell these. These are fire. This is great for vacation, like at the beach. And once again, just the way these are made. Uh, let's talk about the 90s for one quick second. Um, you have the Nike Air on the back as well. Um, in 93, I mean, that's when Snoop Dogg released his debut album. Um, that's just the first thing that come to my head. Um, Tupac released an album. Hip hop was real huge. R. Kelly on the R&B tip. I think um, the 12 Play album was released. Um, just to name a few. And then you had the alternative rock as well, if you're into that. Um, and sort of the country music was sort of mixing in a little bit of a pop sound to it as well. Um, television shows, you already know. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, um, Martin. Um, of course, Roseanne was popping in. I know y'all gonna flack me on that because of the recent events, but let's keep it 100. Um, of course, New York Undercover was big with style. Um, if you was into animated um, cartoons, I mean, it was a gang load of those, which is way different than the vibe now. Video consoles. Um, we hadn't reached PlayStation yet, but we had the Sega, the Super Nintendo. But if you was wearing these or even this model, with like a relaxed jean or baggy jean, like a blue um, stone wash or black. These would have been fire flames. Different color jeans as well. These are fire. Um, hoodies, pullover, um, starter jackets. <laughs> um, as far as the haircuts, um, I remember like the Philly fade, um, like the twist. 93 is when the Wu-Tang came out with their debut album um, as far as hip hop. Um, Outkast came out with their uh, debut album, Southern Playlist of Cadillac Music. I didn't even know they was from Atlanta, um, even though it said Southern Playlist because I was so young at the time. Um, I think Criss Cross dropped a bomb album, um, which was produced by Jermaine Dupri, so on and so forth. Just trying to entertain a little bit, give you some brief history, comment below. I remember Sunday nights at the All Night Skate. Onyx was out with Slam, and they used to get everybody hype going to the mall every Saturday. Um, I had Nikes, I had um, some Timberland canvas boots in black. 
um, just so you can feel the vibe back then um, of what I was on. But yeah, most definitely. 93, Air Max, Fire Flame. This gets a 10. I love this colorway. Um, the only thing is, the black sort of throws off this brightness, but I guess it goes with the outsole a little bit. You don't have to worry about the outsole getting this dirty. And in the 90s, I was into shoes with a lot of straps. Um, 93 is when the um, Diamond Turf by Deion Sanders was out. I remember having it. I um, actually did a trade back then with a guy that had transferred from another school. I can't remember his name, but we used to trade cassettes and electronics. Like the disc man was out. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the next pair. Fire Flame, definite go. Comment below. All right, so next up. And I'm going to do like an on foot on whichever ones I keep. This is going to be the Air Max 94, true to size, nine and a half. And the colorway is going to be um, gray, cool gray, black, and volt. Now in the pictures, that yeah, volt looked at lime, and lime was like my favorite color. But I didn't really get into the lime until probably like 1998. Um, everything was lime green, and to this day I rock a lot of lime. So let's see if that volt is going to match up with some of my gear. Um, that I know I have. So let's go ahead and get into it. And if you know the correct colorway title when it's released, comment it below. Like I said, I was just finding the steals. Return of, um, slip. This already paid for both of these. <laughs> the price on both of these was, yeah, yeah, yes. I mean, like, <laughs> it's all I gotta say. All right. Yeah, this is definitely going to be that um, fall and winter vibe. These got some weight, too. Huh. Does that mean premium materials? Finish line. Shout out to them. This was sent from New Hampshire at 80s Premium Outlet Boulevard, Space 7, 45. Check them out. Merrimack, New Hampshire. Yeah. Shout out to them. And I got it pretty quick. I'd say probably in four to five business days. I was excited, but I was really super busy. This shoe just takes it back. This is just one of those shoes I wish I had got for Christmas in 94, freshman year. Um, yeah, fire flames. All right, so I'm just looking at it. Good grip on the bottom. Nike Air in the heel part. Um, 180 bubble with their Volt Green, which would match up a little bit. Not exactly lime. But I still got some heat, um, some dry fits or whatever uh, for the spring. But this is almost like a Christmas day shoe. It's a lot of materials going on here. Um, you have some leather, some mesh, the gray swoosh, gray flat laces. Look at the lacing system as well. Um, yeah, you could actually probably do a lace swap too. I like it when they have these little lace clips, little details. And that was a lot of things that we started seeing a lot of in the 90s. Um, and in the 90s, I wanted the Jordans, of course. We'll take it back to the Jordan 4s. But um, as I got older, I think I got a part-time job at Mickey D's. Um, I went and got me some Air Maxes with some straps and stuff myself, shoes that I wanted. Uh, but I still had kept a budget in my brain of about 80 bucks. was probably the highest Nike I, um, that I purchased during that time. And really, after like... Probably the fours, the fives, and the sixes. My eyes really wasn't in tune with the Jordans as much because I knew the price. So I started messing with like Air Maxes and um, Bo Jacksons and Deion Saunders and stuff like that. And this sort of gives me that vibe. And I'm glad I was able to get these at a steal. I probably should have doubled up. Um, the inner is going to be gray. And it's a total difference between the 94 and the 93. Like, just take a look at it. Like, this is more of your tennis shoe tennis shoe when you think of air max before we started seeing like um, 360 bubbles and stuff that wraps all around or the vapor maxes that still uses this colorway palette uh, blueprint this is 94 and i got both of these for less than a pair of 95s 95s was just iconic because they changed i don't even have none in the stash i got some um, but they're not mine and we'll get to that maybe another time but yeah this is what inspired the 95 the 94 
I mean, shout out to R. Kelly for bringing out Aaliyah in 94, R.I.P. Um, the Bump and Grind remix. I'm just thinking of stuff off the top. Um, yeah, the Dog Pound album dropped. Mob Deep, the infamous album, R.I.P. The Prodigy. Um, yeah. So you definitely was influenced with the baggy gear. These would definitely go good with some black jeans. Now, um, slim fit back then, baggy, um, definitely sagging, maybe even some black dicky khakis um, because the sort of West Coast culture was sort of popping um, back then. It's the flannels or whatever. You could have got the black, gray, and vote flannel button down. I know it was straight. I know it was hood, but that was the vibe um, back then. You even saw it on a lot of the sitcoms, the way uh, people was dressing. Even on 90210, and that's Beverly Hills. I mean, so yeah, um, definitely on point. This Volk colorway, 94. This is the favorite, and this is the oldest, the 93. Look at the air bubble, the air unit. So yeah, comment below. Let me know if you have these on a different colorway. Suede material, not super, super premium, but the shoe has weight. Um, so it's, in my opinion, it's definitely more of like your, your winter vibe. And for the price, suppose you don't really want to floss extra hard with your J's or anything that costs like 200 bucks, but you still want to be crisp and clean and just let them know a little bit that you got some heat in the stash. This is what you go with, you know, um, on the late night, if it's just you and another friend or you're solo or you're on campus, uh, we're just talking style. You know, if we're talking comfort, I mean, Air Max was, was known for that runner, uh, not necessarily on the court because this is a low cut, no ankle support. And you're probably thinking, how run, run, jog, what's the Air Max? You lace them up tight. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Check out Finish Line, see if they still got some deals. I hope you're able to cop. When I get free time, I scroll through all the retailers. If I got extra um, money to spend, blow, or whatever. But usually, a lot of times, these are still an investment. <coughs> I'll advertise, excuse me, I'll advertise these first, like on Instagram, see if anybody needs them or want them, or been looking for them, and yeah, I like these a lot, yeah, this is my vibe right here, so if you're feeling this, comment below, give that thumbs up, that like, the 94, um, the 93 and 94 Air Max colorways, I'm trying to think quick of some movies that might have been out back then, um, I want to say in 94 that Poetic Justice was out. That's one of my favorites. Um, yeah. So, there you have it. Spring or whenever, depending on where you live. Winter. I don't think too much in the summertime. Hot heat with the black, but it's up to you. Yeah. So, this is P. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, once again... So shout out to everybody that supports me um, in the major cities, the small counties, the towns, um, and everybody out there. Hopefully um, you enjoyed the video and you'll be able to um, check out even more. Yeah, or maybe this inspire you to do your, your own YouTube channel, hopefully. Peace. Nike Air on the inside. May the 17th, 2018. Comment if you want that on feet.
Home for the Money. Shout out to MC8. 94. Yeah, yeah, volume one. 